For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a skein of Red Heart's Super Saber Jumbo in Grey Heather and White, and Karen 1 pound in Pale Royal Blue. As for tools, a 5mm hook, 6mm hook, stitch markers, scissors, and a tape measure. We're using 3 stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain Slip stitch Single crochet This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting started on this sweater, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 5mm hook, and we're going to start off by making a chain for our collar, but we do have to make sure that it fits over our head as well. And just to let you guys know, I'm going to make a chain of 22.5 inches or 57 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're now going to connect it to the first chain that we made, but before we do that, we're just going to run our thumb along one side, making sure that it's not twisted, and we're doing that so that the next row is easier for us to do. But once we make sure that it's not twisted, we're going to insert our hook into this first loop with a slip stitch. So we should have two loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, and now we are all connected. This is what we should have once when we have connect our work with a slip stitch and next we're going to grab our stitch markers and do some stitch mark placing. So the places that we're going to do it is actually into the four corners that we have and don't worry this is the neckband but it won't stay a square I promise. We're just doing this for future reference. But what we're going to do is just the easiest way is to place our finger on top of where our stitch marker is and all I'm going to do is just pull all the way down and basically place a stitch marker in the halfway point, which is right here. Let's do one right here. And then from here, we're going to pull so that these two meet in together so that we can have these two marks right here. So we're going to put one up here and also one down here. And then once we have this, go ahead and count out our loops in between. Make sure that they are even. If not, then go ahead and adjust, but this is just the easiest way that I figured how to do it. And then now we're ready to do the next part. Now that we have our stitch markers in, the next thing we're going to do is go in with a row of single crochet all the way down until we get to the stitch markers. We're going to be doing an increase of two into each of them. And also, right where our slip stitch is, we didn't put a stitch marker there, but that's kind of because it's easier to see. But anyways, we're going to keep doing that all the way around. So first off, once we get here, we're going to chain up one. And then we're going to insert our hook into this first loop with a single crochet. Super easy. We're going to keep doing this until we get to our first stitch marker and then I'll show you guys how to do our increase from there. We've made it over to our first stitch marker and what we're going to do, we're going to take it out for now, but we are going to put this back so that it's easier for us to do the rest of our work. But into this next loop, we're going to go in with two single crochet. So there's one and there's two into that same loop and put our stitch marker back in there and that's basically it. We're going to keep doing this all the way down. So put one single crochet into every loop until we get to the next stitch marker, put an increase of two in there, put the stitch marker back and then same thing over to this guy. And then once we get to the end, which is where we slip stitched everything together, we're going to be putting one more increase, but I'll meet you guys back once we get here so we can do this one together. We've made it all the way around with a row of single crochet, making sure that we did an increase right where our stitch markers are and we put back our stitch markers. And we're about to do our last increase. As you guys can see, we have our last loop right here. So all I'm gonna do is put an increase into this guy. There's one, there's two. And now I can connect it to the first loop that we made for our single crochet row. But right before we do that, just like how we did the chain, we're just gonna make sure that this is all facing one direction so making sure that it's not twisted but once we know that we're going to insert our hook into this first loop with a slip stitch and once we have that we're going to chain up one and cut this is what we should have once when we have finished doing our first row of single crochet that went all the way around with some increases in it as well and the next thing we're going to do is take these side stitch markers that we have and we're going to move it about an inch backwards or roughly three centimeters so that our back portion that we have of our collar can remain a little bit more blunt so that it resembles a t-shirt. 
We have just moved our stitch markers back about an inch or three centimeters and I have also off camera went ahead and did our shoulder chunk that we have just so you guys can have a visual and we're going to do the next one together. Right before we get started on doing this shoulder chunk, we're first going to need to try this on and then we're going to measure from our side stitch markers that we have and we're going to measure out towards our shoulder tips and we're going to keep that in mind because that's going to be the measurement that we need to make our chain with. I'm coming to you guys from the future because I completely forgot to mention that we will be switching our hook for our six millimeter hook as well. And once when we have that measurement, all we're going to do is insert our hook into where our side stitch marker is, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and we're going to start off by making a chain of whatever measurement you have. I have three and a half inches or nine centimeters. Once we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain that we just did, chain up one extra, and then we're going to go into that chain that we blocked off with our thumb with a slip stitch. So we're going to insert our hook into that second loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through everything on the hook. Let's do the next one one more time, a little bit more slowly. Into this next available loop, insert, yarn over, pull through everything on the hook. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down. And once we get to the base, we're going to slip stitch into the base, but we're going to be going into the same loop that we are currently in. So I'll meet you guys back so that we can attach it together. We've now just put one slip stitch into every loop and into this same loop that we inserted our chain into, we're going to insert into that loop with another slip stitch just to close off this row. And now we're going to start working on one half of our shoulder chunk. So once we get here, we're going to be slip stitching up the next two loops in our base. So we're going to slip stitch up one and then also slip stitch up two. Once we have that, we're going to flip our work and then there's going to be a corner loop that we can kind of see in between the two slip stitches that we just did. It's this loop right here. We're going to go into that loop with three double crochet. Prepare for a double crochet. Go into that corner loop with one double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. Once we have that, we are going to count up this next chunk that we left for ourselves, this slip stitch chunk. We're going to count up one, two loops into that second loop. We're going to attach it with a slip stitch. And then once when we have attached this first double crochet chunk that we have, the rest of this is going to be single crochets with increases into every other row. So let's do the next few rows together just so you guys can get a hang of it. Into this next available loop that we have, we're going to slip stitch into that loop to work our way up to the next row. Flip our work and then this first row that we did, we did not do an increase, so we will be doing an increase into this row, our second row. Into this first available loop that we have, we're going to be going in with two single crochet. So there's one and then into that same loop, go in with one more single crochet put one single crochet into the next loop and then we have just one more loop left in our work we're going to be increasing into there as well so all of the increase rows we're going to be increasing once into the beginning and then once at the end with just an increase of two so into this last loop we're going to be putting one single crochet and two single crochet and once we have that we're going to slip stitch it into this next available loop yarn over pull through with a slip stitch and we now have two rows and we're just going to do the next two together because I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when we don't do an increase and also when we switch out our colors as well. So starting up this next row, we are going to insert our hook into that next available loop, pull through with a slip stitch. That's how we work our way up to the next row. Flip our work. Once we have that, this is going to be an odd numbered row. This is our third, so no increase. Just go all the way across, putting one single crochet into every loop, and then we will connect with a slip stitch once we get to the other side of our base, which is right now, into this next available loop, insert, yarn over, pull through everything. And then once when I have this, if you guys are switching out your colors, go ahead and cut and tie. I will be doing that, and then I'll meet you guys back once when I have my secondary color in hand. We now have our secondary color and we are ready to go, but a quick tip that I have right before we get started is if you guys are switching out your colors, once when you are ready, be sure that you're holding your work face up 
So make sure that the part that you want to be shown, so the pretty side is faced up towards you and make sure that it's not upside down because we do have some special loops to go into so that it doesn't look messy on the top part. And once when we are ready, we're going to see this next available loop that we have into this part, insert our hook, insert our yarn, and pull through. And this next row that I'm going to be going into, it just so happens to be an even numbered row. So we are going to be doing an increase. And like I said before, an increase is just two single crochet into the first loop and two single crochet into the last loop. So really quickly, let's do this together into this first available loop. Let's go in with an increase of two single crochet. So one, two, and there is two, almost two. And then once we have that, we're going to be working our way all the way down, putting just one single crochet into every loop. And then we will be doing another increase once we get to the end of this row as well. We are now at this last loop. We're going to be putting one single crochet and two single crochet into that last loop. Once we have that, we're going to find this next available loop in our base, insert with a slip stitch. And once we have this, we're going to continue doing this all the way down. You guys can switch out your colors whenever, wherever you guys want. But I am going to meet you guys at the end of this next row just so I can show you guys how to do our special stitches that I just mentioned. We are now ready to connect this next row that we have with our secondary color. And this special stitch is just so that we don't have our base color sticking out once when we do our slip stitches into this portion of our chain. So all we're going to do is we're actually going to be doing a slip stitch, but we're going to be going into it through the back. So let's do this together. Instead of going in through this way, like we normally do, we are going to go behind our work, make sure that our hook is faced towards us. And then we're going to insert our hook like we normally would. And once we have that, we are going to yarn over, pull through everything on the hook. And then this is one of them. This is how we end off this row. And then we're going to do the same thing so that we start up the next row. So we're going to go behind our work, make sure our hook is faced us, slide that through if we can. There we go. And then once we have that, we're going to yarn over, pull through everything on the hook. And this is how we make sure that our base color doesn't stick out through our single crochet. Because if we didn't, this is what it would look like and this is not what we want. So now that we have that knowledge, go ahead and keep doing this until we have made our way all the way down our chain that we made for ourselves. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side of our chain, but I'll show you guys just how to start it off once when we get there. We have just finished up doing this first shoulder chunk on this side and now we're just going to finish it off by doing the exact same thing that we did here but on this other side and i'm just going to show you guys how to start it off and then i'll let you guys do the rest on your own but all we're going to do is take a look at our base and count up two stitches so here's one here's two insert our hook into that second loop insert our yarn onto our hook pull through once we have that we're going to automatically prepare for a double crochet and then go into that loop that our chain is in as you guys can see it's right here with three double crochet just like how we started off this side so here is one double crochet two double crochet and then three double crochet and then once we're done with this we're going to count up two loops here's one here's two into that second loop we're going to insert our hook yarn over pull through everything and that is how we start off doing this portion and now that we have this, we can go ahead and do the same exact thing that you guys did here. Once we make it to the end, cut and tie, and then do the same, same thing that we just did here on the other side, and then I'll meet you guys back. This is what we should have once when we have both of our little shoulder chunks finished up. And the next thing that we're gonna have to do is take a look at this front portion that we have. The front portion is going to be the longer side, and we're gonna need to figure out where our middle loop is. And it doesn't matter if you guys just have one middle loop or two, but go ahead and put a stitch marker into there and then we'll get started on this next portion. 
this is what we should have once when we have finished up doing both of our shoulder chunks and we're going to ignore this because i went ahead and did this off camera but we're basically just going to start working down from this shoulder chunk down this chain that we have until we get to about a loop or two away from this middle loop that we have so that we can start working on the body portion getting started on this beginning body portion what we're going to do is just go in with a row of single crochet coming from the bottom of this shoulder chunk that we have going all the way down towards the base then once when we get to the base we're going to be doing an increase but into every fifth row so what we're going to do is just insert our hook into this loop pull through we're going to chain up one to secure and i don't like to count this guy so we're going to go into that same loop with a single crochet and this is going to be our first loop and then once we have that we're just going to be putting one single crochet into every loop going back down this work that we have going towards the base and then we will increase at the end together we've made our way down all the way down to this last loop that we have and what we're going to do is do an increase of two single crochet into that last loop so there's one and there's two once we have that we're going to insert our hook into the next available loop that we have in the base with a slip stitch and then once we have that we're going to work our way up to the next row slip stitch up the next loop flip our work and then we're going to be going into every single crochet loop that we have going all the way back down once we reach the end we're going to chain up one and then work our way back and then like i said earlier we're going to be increasing into every fifth row so as you guys can see this is the first one we came down increased and we're going to go up one this is row two three four and then when we come back again increase again so i'll meet you guys back once when we have our next increase and then we'll do that together and then i'll let you guys have at it this is what we should have once we have both of our sides all finished up and what we're going to do from here is go in with a row of single crochet just going straight across everything that we have including this chain all the way over to this other side and that's going to be completely regular no increases no decreases we're just going to be doing that until we reach our underarm so that we can make a little chunk for our armhole and then we'll continue from there but all we're going to do is insert our yarn pull through chain up one to secure and i don't like to count this last one so we're going to go into the same loop with another single crochet and this is my first loop and then once we have that keep going down with single crochets until we get the length that we need i will tell you guys in the next clip the length that i have and then we'll go on from there this is what I have so far once when we have gone from where we finished right down here all the way down until we got to our underarm and just to let you guys know this little chunk that I have is about two inches or five centimeters but this is going to be different for everyone so keep that in mind but whenever we finally reach our underarm on the sides all we're going to do from here is just add a little chain on both sides of our work and then we're just going to single crochet across keeping up with our color pattern that we're doing and then this is going to be the length of the sweater so super easy peasy let's just get this started and then we'll go on from there right before we get started we're going to need to try this on and see the length that we need from this corner piece that we have all the way to our side and i have a total of three inches or eight centimeters so what we're going to do is make a chain and then connect it to this piece that we have so i'm going to go ahead and start off by making my chain and once when I have my chain, what we're going to do is take our work, insert our hook onto this corner, we're going to pull through with a slip stitch. And then from here, all we're going to do is chain up one and single crochet all the way across. And then once we make it to the end, we're going to make another chain that is exactly the same length as we have on this side. And then once we have that, we're going to chain up one and then work our way back with single crochets. And then that is going to be the majority of our sweater for the front portion so i'll actually meet you guys back once when i get to the end of this row so that we can do the end chain together and then we'll have at it from there i've made it all the way down with this first single crochet row and now like i said we're just going to make a little chain that hangs off the side the same length as this side and then we're going to go back down with single crochets so let's do that chain right now now that we have our chain we're going to block off this last chain do a chain up of one extra then we're going to insert our hook into that second loop from our hook or the loop that we blocked off with our thumb with a single crochet and then we're going to single crochet all the way down including all the way through the body and all the way down 
past this chain as well. And then once we get to the end, chain up one and then single crochet back. And you guys can maintain your color, whatever you guys are doing with this. And I'll meet you guys back once we have the majority of this portion finished up. We are now all finished up with doing our front body portion. And that portion comes from this underarm chunk that we made all the way down to the bottom. And I have a total of 15 inches or 39 centimeters. And the next thing we're going to do is start on the back. And it's going to be pretty similar to the front. We're basically just going to go from one triangle tip all the way to the other triangle tip with just single crochets. And we're going to keep going back and forth like that, maintaining our pattern that we have all the way up until we have the same amount of rows as when we started doing our side underarm chunk. And then from there, we will do another extension so that our underarms can re reach each other on the sides. And then that'll be it. But let's do the first row of this portion together and then we'll let you guys do the rest on your own. So like I said, this is gonna start off the same way that the front portion started off. All we're gonna do is insert our hook into this first loop that we have at the tip of our triangle. We're gonna pull through, chain up one to secure, and then we're gonna go into that same loop, ignoring this first loop. This counts as our first single crochet. We're gonna be going into that one once we come back. But from here, we're just gonna be putting one single crochet into every loop that we have until our triangle meets the neck portion. And then we're just gonna do a decrease, but only into this one row that we're into. So we're almost there, so we're going to stick with each other really quickly. We're going to stop just one loop right before we get to the back portion. So we're right here. This is our one loop right before we get to the back, and we're just going to do a decrease. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, and then into the next available loop that we have into the back, insert, pull through, and now we should have three loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through all three. And we're only doing that for this row, so go ahead and keep going all the way down until we reach the same spot on the other side, and then we're going to do the same thing. We've now made it over to the last loop that we have in the back portion, and now we're going to do another decrease into this last loop and into the first loop that we have in our triangle. So let's insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, reach all the way over to this next loop in our triangle, yarn over, pull through, Here's three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through all three. And from here, we're just going to continue going all the way down with single crochet. And once we make it to the end, we're going to chain up one, flip our work, and go back down with more single crochet. And we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we reach this shoulder chunk. And don't forget to maintain your pattern. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do this underarm portion again together. We've just finished up doing our upper back portion and what we're going to do next is the same exact thing that we did for the front so I won't bore you guys too much with the details. We're just going to do a quick run through of once when we get here we're going to cut and tie and then we're going to start off by making a chain that is the same length that you guys have on this side and then from here we're going to single crochet all the way across until we make it to the end and then make the same chain length extending out towards this way. Once we have that chain, we're going to chain up one and then single crochet back. And from there, we're just going to keep doing rows of single crochet back and forth, making sure that the color patterns match up because we do need them to match up. And we're going to keep doing this until we have the same length that we have in the front. And then I'll meet you guys back. We are all finished up with our front panel and our back panel. And the next thing that we're going to do is go in with a single crochet row that goes in all the way up to the side so that we can cinch this all in together but we are going to leave a slit and this is going to be a little bit different because i'm going to show you guys how to do it with a different technique that allows you to hide in all of these pesky ends as well we now have our hook into where we want our seam to start and as you guys can see it is going in through the same loop on both sides you guys can tell by the colors that i have so once when we have that we're in this gray color, so I'm gonna insert that gray color onto my hook. We're going to pull through, and then from here, we're going to chain up one to secure it in. And this part is going to be the same for everyone. It doesn't necessarily have to be the next loop that you're going into. It just depends on where you're going to go into with your next color. So it could be now, it could be later. That's all dependent on your color pattern. But once we get here into the next color that we have, we're going to insert our hook, making sure that our hook is going in through the front panel and the back panel 
and we're inserting it right where this first color meets our second color. There should be that one loop right there. And since we have that, we're going to now grab our second color, which is right here. We're going to keep this working yarn over our work right here. We're going to grab our secondary color. Once we have that, we're going to pull through. And then from here, we're just going to single crochet like normal over our secondary color and our first color that we have on our hook. So we're going to yarn over, pull through everything. And then now we have our first color that we were just using, and that will be intertwined into where we're working. And then once we reach this color again over here, this will already be where we're working at, so we don't need to do any extra cutting in time. But once we're here, we're already into this second color, so we don't have to do anything fancy. What we're going to do, and also how we're going to hide in our ends as we go, we're going to insert our hook into this next loop that we have. And then once we have that, we're going to keep these ends over the work that we're working into, making sure that they're laying flat, and we're going to single crochet over everything that we have. And then this is going to help us, just like how the first color is going to help us, just kind of lay flat into the work that we're working into. So let's keep doing this until we get to the third color. We're right here, we're going to insert our hook into this next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, so a regular single crochet, making sure that everything is laying flat underneath it and we're now at our third color what we're going to do is find that loop where our second color meets our third color we're going to insert our hook in through that front loop and that same back loop and then we're going to grab that color and insert that onto our hook pull that through and then from here we're going to pull through everything we should still have our secondary color on our hook and now we have our third, so from here we're going to yarn over, pull through everything with a regular single crochet. And then from here, this is going to be the same. It's going to be a little hard to see because there's a lot of tails woven in. But into this first available loop in the front panel. And then into the next available loop that we have in the back panel. And then from there we're going to single crochet. Let's grab this tail as well. From here we're going to single crochet, making sure that we're going over all of the tails so that we don't need to come in later. And we're going to keep doing this until we get to our first color again, which is our gray. And I'm just going to show you guys how to switch out your colors one last time. We're just going to keep doing this with this color that we're currently working into. We just have a couple more loops left. Let's do this. And then this is our last loop of this color, and then we will be switching it out. So here's this one. And once we get here, we're now at this loop where this color that we're currently working into meets this next color that we're working into. So we're going to insert our hook, making sure that we go in through the front panel and through the back panel. And then from here, we should have this color intertwined into our work underneath this single crochet row that we just did. So we can just grab that tail and then single crochet. And now this is coming out pretty nicely. So we're going to keep doing this all the way down, all the way up until we get to the bottom of this underarm portion and once we get here we're going to do something just a little bit different so that we can go around the arm and then i'll meet you guys back once we get here so that we can do the rest of it together we've now made it all the way to the end with our seaming row and as you guys can see pretty much all of our tail ends were woven in as we worked which is perfect because i hate weaving those in but once we have that done all we're going to do is take our colors that are still underneath our single crochet we're going to cut it and then we're going to tie everything together because if we don't these can be yanked on a little bit and it could make our top look a little funky so we're just going to cut those ends and then we do have these extra tails so we're just going to tie these together nice and tight and then we can start working on the armholes we have cut and tied and what we're going to do next is we are going to maintain our coloring that we have here, but instead of going in with this row of hiding in the tail ends, we are just going to go in with rows of single crochet, cutting and tying, and then going into that next color, which is kind of a mess, but we will have a solution once when this top is done. But to get this started, what we're going to do, we're not going to be going into these single crochet rows that we have because those are already perfect. What we're going to do is go into the parts that are side single crochets that go up the arm. So the first thing we're going to do is actually go into 
this last loop that we have into this single crochet row so the loop that is the closest to the part that goes up your body and from here we're going to insert our hook with our same color we're going to pull this through and then from here we're going to go in with rows of single crochet until we meet our next color and there's not going to be any real loops for us to go into so we just going to have to figure it out if i can there we go there's one and we're going to do this all the way up until we get to this next color and as you guys can see my next color is this gray so all i'm going to do is chain up one and cut and then i will grab my next color and attach that onto this work so how we're going to introduce our next color and every color after this is actually going into this last single crochet that we went into into the single crochet row that we're current currently working into <laughs> so we're going to insert our hook insert our next color pull through and now that this is all attached what we're going to do is go into that next loop that we have with our next color and unfortunately for me this is about as far as i'm going to go for this color because this is just one loop so i'm going to chain up one and cut and let's grab our next color so that we can show you guys how to do the next color just one more time we are at our next color we have gotten that ready so we're going to insert our hook into this next loop that we have insert our next color pull through and then go into this first loop that we have where our previous color and our next color meet with a single crochet and then you guys can interweave your tail ends just like how we did on the sides here if you guys want but this could show forth just a little bit more than i would like so I'm going to be leaving them because I'm going to come back and put those away later so you guys can do whatever you guys want with that information. But we are going to single crochet until we get to this last loop, chain up one, cut, grab my next color and then we're going to insert it into this last single crochet that we have and then continue doing single crochets all the way down, all the way around Oops, this sleeve until we make it down to this last single crochet loop that we have into the single crochet row right here we're going to slip stitch it into that loop chain up one and cut and then we will be ready to start on the sleeve a really quick reminder right before we start seaming up our sides is that we're going to want to flip our work inside out so that these loops that we have that we don't want to be seen are on the same side as our seam so that once we flip it inside out everything on the outside is nice and pretty we're now all finished up with going in with our row of single crochet where we switched out our colors every time we had to in our color pattern and once when we get here we're ready to start doing our shoulder portion so taking a look at our work this is what we should have this is the shoulder portion that faces out our arm is going to be coming out through this hole right here so once when we have this, we're going to want to see our pattern that we have. We obviously started with a V on our shoulder, and we're going to want to maintain this pattern going all the way down our arm, basically. But once when we have this, we're going to take a look at this color that we have. I obviously have a white, so I have my white yarn ready. And what we're going to do is figure out where this middle loop is, right where our... I guess triangle portion meets and mine is this loop right here and what we're gonna do is from here we're gonna count up three loops here's one two and three we're gonna insert our hook into that third loop and then we're gonna go back into that middle loop with double crochets so I'm gonna pull through I'm gonna prepare for a double crochet and then into that middle loop that was right here I will be going in with seven double crochets but this will be different for everyone if you guys have wider shoulders or if you guys just need to adjust you guys can have more or less double crochets that is completely up to you guys but i'm just going to go in with seven because that's what i need just to have this expand to make sure that there's no gaps in between any of my double crochets but it's still comfortable to wear so i'm going to go in with my seven here's one two three four five six and one more together seven now that we have that we're going to count out three loops one two three slip stitch into that loop and oh let's fix that but once we do slip stitch that nicely 
we are ready to go into our next row. There we go. So in order to work our way up to the next row, we are going to have to eyeball this because this next row is obviously going to go into this next color. So I'm going to chain up one and cut. And then we're going to be switching out our colors and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. Now that we have our first row of double crochet, I will show you guys the pattern that we're going to do until this reaches the tip of your shoulder. So I will be switching out my colors, but you guys do not have to. This is all, 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 all dependent on you guys. But into my next available loop, I'm going to insert my hook into that loop. Insert my secondary color, or if you guys want to switch out your colors just for the sleeves, that would be pretty cool too. But once we get here, we're going to go into this fan double crochet that we made for ourselves and we're going to be increasing into the first loop somewhere in the middle and then the last loop and the somewhere in the middle doesn't have a number pattern you guys can just pick a loop because we just need this to expand just a little bit more until this reaches the tip of our shoulder so it doesn't quite matter which one we go into but once we get here we're going to go into that first loop with an increase of single crochet so here is one single crochet into that first loop and we're going to be putting one more into that same loop so there was one and here is two and then we're just going to stick with each other until we get to the middle and this looks about right to me so i'm just going to insert my hook into this middle loop there's one there's two and then single crochet all the way back down two until we reach this last loop we're going to do an increase of two into that last loop Two, and then we're going to slip stitch into this next available loop that we have right here just like that and then we're actually going to continue on with the same pattern so increasing into the first loop or whichever way you're coming from the first loop somewhere in the middle and then the last loop that's just a regular increase of two single crochet until this reaches the tip 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 of your shoulder so i'm going to keep doing this while alternating out my colors so I'm going to have a total of, from this first row of double crochet, of 2 inches or about 5 centimeters. And then I will meet you guys back to show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so this looks a little messy, but just to show you guys, I have this chunk. As you guys can see, this is our double crochet row and a bunch of single crochet rows where we increased into the first, the middle, and the last loops. And I have my total of 2 inches or 5 centimeters. And now... We will actually go in with just regular single crochets, no increases, no nothing, all the way up until we get to about midway in this armhole that we have. And then we're going to do just a little bit of increases, and then we're going to have the rest of our armhole. So go ahead and keep doing this same pattern while switching out your colors all the way until you get about halfway through, and then I'll meet you guys back. So this is what I have so far. We have a nice little cap sleeve, which isn't what we're going for. So we are finally halfway down our armhole that we made for ourselves. And now that we're halfway down, we're going to do some increases, but only within the first loop and the last loop. But we're going to keep doing single crochets going back and forth all the way up until we get to this corner loop that we have down here on both sides. And then from there, we're going to be working along everything that we have but once we get here it's going to be into the back loops only and then we can continue on with the sleeve from there but let me just show you guys how to do this first bit with the increases into the first and last loops we'll go back and forth and then i'll meet you guys back once we're ready to connect to this underarm portion right here so getting this next part started it's going to be exactly the same way that we have started the other portion all we're going to do is insert our hook into the next available loop that we have into this sleeve portion and mine is my other color <laughs> than it is from this one so i'm just going to be making sure that my colors align i'm going to pull this through and then once we have that we're going to insert our hook into this first available loop that we have with an increase of two so really quickly here is one single crochet and then here is two single crochet into that same first loop once we have that we're going to be going in with one single crochet into every loop going all the way down and then once we make it to the end we are going to do another increase of two into that last loop but i'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together 
We are now about to go into that last loop with our increase of two. So here is one. Here is two. Once we have that, we're going to take a look at this next available loop that we have and to the side with a slip stitch. And then once we have that, we're going to slip stitch up the next loop. And then this loop is going to be this loop. I'm so sorry. This row <laughs> is going to be a row of regular single crochets. And all we're going to be doing is alternating between every other row where we increase into one row, don't do anything in the next, and then increase into the row after that. So we're going to continue doing that, like I said, until we make it down to this corner loop that we have on both sides and then we'll meet each other back so that we can do the rest of the sleeve together. So this is our beginning of our sleeve. You guys can't see too much of it but this is our armhole that we have left for ourselves and we have done our increases into the first loop and the back loop with single crochets in between all the way up until we got to these middle middle into these corner loops that I told you guys to stop at and now we're going to do a quick row of single crochet going along the bottom and then once we make it all the way to the end that's when we're start that's when we're going to start working in a circle i'm sorry if i'm stuttering i've actually been up all night at six in the morning right now but anyways moving on <laughs> what we're gonna do i know i said earlier that we're gonna be working into the back loops but it all depends on what side you end on and for me it's going to be working into the front loops but if you guys end on this side and you guys are going to be working into the back loops going this way but either way what we're going to want to do is make sure that the available loop that we have is going to be on the inside because this is going to help our sleeve fold over a lot cleaner so whatever loop is on the outside of your sweater or your top we're going to be doing a single crochet into that one so for me it's the front loops so we're just going to go in with one single crochet into every front loop that we have going all the way around and then I'll meet you guys back once when we have made it to this next loop because then we can work our way up and then continue going all the way back around with the rest of our sleeve. Ta-da! We are all back with our row of front loop single crochets. This is the inside as you guys can see this is the little ribbing that we left for ourselves and all we're going to do is go into this first loop that we have into this cap sleeve portion with a slip stitch. So into this first available loop that we have, we're gonna reach all the way over here with a slip stitch. And once we have that, we're going to chain up one. We're gonna flip our work back around and then go in with rows of single crochet. And we're flipping our work so that we can maintain this pattern that we have that our single crochet is kind of made since we were going back and forth instead of going in a circle, we just wanna maintain that. So every time we make it to the end, we're going to chain up one and then work the way that we just came back from. And then that's going to be the majority of this sleeve. We're just going to want to maintain our color block portion that we're doing, whatever you guys are doing. And then I'm actually going to keep doing this for a little bit. I'll meet you guys back in the next clip to tell you guys the exact length that I have and to see what we're doing next because I haven't quite decided yet, but we will decide later. <laughs> I have just finished up doing my sleeve all the way up until I get to about my elbow and just let you guys know from this underarm portion all the way down to where I have, I have about 7 inches or 18 centimeters. Well, Once we get here, we can now start tapering in the sleeve, which is decreasing into every 2 inches or 5 centimeters so that it can start to taper in towards the wrist so that we can have our little cuff at the end. So all that is, is fairly simple, we're going to insert our hook and I'm doing it this way because I didn't have to switch out my color. If you guys are already in your work, that is totally fine. All we're going to do is pull through, chain up one to secure. And then once we have this, I'm actually going to take a look at the sleeve once when it's laying down flat. And there's not going to be a real number count. We're just going to have to eyeball this portion. But all I'm going to do is single crochet until I get to the underside of our sleeve. We're going to put one decrease in here. And then from there, we're going to also take a look at the top two corners that we have in the sleeve and put a decrease into each of those as well. So we're basically going to be decreasing into three portions of this sleeve. And we're only going to be doing that for one row and then I will be going for another two inches or five centimeters and then doing another decrease but you guys can either elongate that or shorten that however you guys want your sleeve to look. 
but I'm just gonna do a couple crochets until I get down here. And then once I get down here, we're gonna do a decrease together just to show you guys what it is. We have done just a couple single crochets all the way down until we made it to the underside of our sleeve. And all we're gonna do is a decrease. So let's do that together really quickly. We're gonna insert our hook into the next available loop, yarn over, pull through, into the next available loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then that counts as our decrease. And like I said, before we get going with the rest, we're just going to put another decrease into the next two sides that we have, basically making a triangle. And then that will be it for this row. And then from there, we're just going to keep going with single crochets until you guys decide to decrease again. And we're going to keep doing this until we have the complete length of our sleeve. And I'll meet you guys back in the next clip to tell you guys the full length that I have right before we start doing our cuff. We now have the length of our sleeve all finished up and this has gone all the way down to my wrist and from this first underarm portion that we have all the way down to where I ended, I have 17 inches or 43 centimeters and we are nearly done, so so close to being done. Now we just need to go in with our itty bitty cuff at the bottom but right before we do that you guys are going to need to figure out how long you guys want your cuff to be and I'm just going to go in with a cuff of 2 inches or five centimeters. So all that is, is since we are going in with the color that we just finished our sleeve with, I'm gonna be doing a chain up of two inches or five centimeters, the measurement that I just told you guys. We now have our chain. What we're gonna do is block off this last chain, chain up one extra, and then we're gonna be going into every loop that we have in our chain with a slip stitch. So all that is, is inserting our hook, yarn over, pull through everything. And let's do that one more time together, just a little bit more slowly. So into this next available loop, insert, yarn over, pull through everything on the hook. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we make it to the base. And then we are going to slip stitch into the base to close off this row and then also slip stitch up one more loop so that we can work our way up to the next loop. And we are actually very, very close. So we're going to stick together until we get there. We have just one more loop insert pull through oh pull through everything if we can there we go and then from here what we're going to do is take a look at this next available loop that we have not into this loop because this is obviously where our chains into but into this next available loop we're going to insert with a slip stitch yarn over pull through everything and this first row is now all closed up once we have that we're going to slip stitch up the next loop flip our work and then go in with back loop slip stitches so all that is is these are the two loops that we would typically go into all that is is going into that back loop so that we can get some ribbing also that also so that this can cinch in pull through let's do this again these are the two loops that we usually go into we're going to go into that back loop yarn over pull through everything and we're going to keep doing this all the way down once we make it to the end we're going to chain up one flip our work continue to do more back loop slip stitches and then we're going to connect into the next available loop that we have into the base once when we get there. And then to work our way up to the next row, we're just going to be slip stitching up the next available loop and then working our way back with back loop slip stitches. And that is basically it. Go ahead and keep doing this until we don't have any more loops in our base. And then we'll connect it all together and then we'll finish up this piece. We've just finished up doing our cuff and we don't have any more loops left. So what we're going to do is go in with the seam just to close this all up so that we are all finished with this cuff. But right before we do that, we are gonna wanna make sure that our sleeve is flipped inside out so that all the seams, like the one that we have along the inside, is all facing the same direction. So all I'm gonna do is just pull my sleeve inside out so that we can connect this all together. The way that we're gonna combine our two sides that we have for the cuff is the same way that we have combined the side portion of this top so we're just going to run through this really quickly. We're gonna insert our hook in through one corner and we're already into this other corner. So we're just gonna go in through that same loop again with a single crochet. And once we have that, we're going to insert our hook into this next available loop in the front panel and then into the next available loop that we have in the back panel. There we go. And single crochet. And this is going to be it. Continue to do single crochets all the way down until you don't have any more loops left to go into. We're going to chain up one and cut. And we have just a few itty bitty details left to go into. And then we'll be all done. We are now all finished up with doing our 
sleeve we're going to go ahead and do one more and then once when we have both of these done we're going to do just a little bit of detail along the slit that we left ourselves and also along the bottom portion of this top as well so once when we are done with both of our sleeves the next thing that we're going to do is go in with a border just a regular single crochet border going along this seam that we have just to clean up the edges and also to make it easier for us so that we can hide in the tails as we go along but we're going to do it the same way that we did the inside portion which is going to be we're going to follow the color row that we have in the body portion so let's start this off together what we're first going to do is insert our hook into this bottom corner insert the same color that we have pull through we're going to chain up one to secure and then from here we're going to be putting one single crochet into each of these side single crochet loops with just one single crochet until we get to our next color we're going to insert yarn over pull through and then right before we go into that next color that we have we're going to grab our secondary color insert that onto our hook and then go in with a single crochet into this next color with our secondary color we're going to make a slip knot we're going to insert that onto our hook once we have that we're going to pull underneath these two loops that we have on our hook once we have that we're going to go into that next loop that we have which is our secondary color just like this and we're not going to cut and tie the body portion of the previous color because that's going to come into play once we get to that color again further along in the body portion but until then we're just going to hide it right where we're going into along with all the tail ends as well so we're just going to keep everything laid down flat like that and single crochet and we're going to keep doing that for as many loops as we have for this color so we just have one more but once when we are ready to go into the next color we're not going to complete our single crochet so we're going to insert our hook into that last loop that we have for our color pull through we should have two loops on our hook and then we're going to grab our second not second we're on our second we're going to grab our third color make a slip knot insert that onto our hook pull through both loops that we have on the hook and then from here we're ready to go into that next color that we have which is right here with a single crochet making sure that we're hiding in the portions of yarn that we're working into and also our tails so we're going to do this and single crochet until we get to the end of this color and then we're going to just grab the next color since that's already in our work and go in with single crochet so this is the last loop of the blue color that we're working into we have our two loops on our hook we're going to grab our next color which just so happens to be our white and it's already intertwined into where we're working so from here we're just going to grab our white we're going to yarn over pull through the two loops that we have on our hook and now we're ready to start working with our white yarn and from here we're going to insert our hook into that next loop yarn over pull through single crochet and we're going to maintain this pattern going all the way down but we are working towards the peak of our work right here but once we get there we're just going to be doing a decrease so that that can maintain its shape so we're just going to stick together for now until we get there and this is the last loop that we have in this color so we're going to yarn over pull through we should have two loops on the hook we're going to grab our next color pull that through and now we're ready to work with our gray and this is what we should have it's a little messy because there's a lot of tails going in and out of pretty much everything what we're going to do is decrease into this last loop that we have on this side and then also into the first loop that we have on the other side of our slit so we're going to insert our hook still hiding our tail ends yarn over pull through we should have two loops on the hook and then we're going to reach all the way over to this loop over here we're going to if we can a little tangled there we go okay let's try this again insert into this first loop yarn over pull through and then into the next loop that we have on the other side insert yarn over pull through and now we're ready for our decrease and all that is is yarn over pull through all three loops on our hook and then once we have that we've actually decreased into this last bit and I will be switching out my colors again so since we don't have another color to go into we're just going to insert our hook straight into this next color 
we're going to grab this next color in our working yarn or working bundle and then single crochet just like that and then from there we're going to maintain this pattern going all the way down until we make it to this corner and then once we make it to this corner I am going to be switching out for just a different color for this bottom border single crochet row but I'll meet you guys back once we get to this corner so that we can do it together we've now made it over to this corner and now we're at the bottom blunt portion of our top and all I'm gonna do is cut the two colors that I don't need for this bottom border that we're going to do and as you can see the next color that I would have gone into would be my blue so I'm going to use that as just my single crochet border along the bottom so for the white and gray I'm just going to cut these guys and then I will tie those in but from here we're just going to go all the way across with a row of single crochet and then once we get to this next slit we're going to do the same exact thing that we did on this side and then do a row of single crochet with your bottom border color again once we make it to the end we're going to cut and tie and then we'll meet each other back so that we can finish this off together we are now all finished up with doing our bottom border along with our slits and the very last thing that we have to do for this sweater is just weave in all of these lovely ends that we've left for ourselves this is our very cute crochet stripe sweater all finished this sweater has been a challenge because I could not figure out how to do the shoulders to save my life but after a few days and a bunch of trials we finally got it to where it's at now and I think that it is perfect and if y'all think that it's perfect too go ahead and give this video a thumbs up it's right beneath the video it lets YouTube and I know you're enjoying the videos and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow and gain traction but if you don't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down, but be sure to leave me a comment letting me know why you didn't like it. Or if you have any questions, requests, or if y'all just want to say hi, I usually reply pretty quick. If you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's right beneath the video. It'll let you know when there's a new video uploaded to the channel, get you a bit more priority when it comes to requests, and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow so we can keep making all these great videos for you guys. If you're already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys, but please hit that notification bell to know when there's a new video uploaded for you guys right away. And please share with your crafty friends, every bit helps. Links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description, and if you buy something using those links, that also goes towards helping out the channel. Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there as well, and as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.